If you guys follow me on Snapchat, Robert Frank or Robert Frank 615, I forget the exact name, but my Bitmoji is a lighter skinned Mr. T looking motherfucker with green eyes. That's how you find me. I do a segment called Romantic Walk to the Mailbox where I take all the t-shirt orders placed on robertfrank615.com, hashtag shameless plug, and I walk the packages to the mailbox and I go on Snapchat and I tell a little story. What makes me happy, what makes me sad, what makes me cry, what makes me want to beat my meat, whatever the case may be. So I posted a picture of myself with my shirt off and just of my back in the mirror, like a, 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 a nude from the waist up. My back is probably my best body part in terms of aesthetic wise. I got a lot of messages on my Instagram asking me how much do I deadlift. So that preceded me to go to the Snapchat and tell a little story about how much I really do deadlift, which is zero because I don't deadlift. So one person in particular actually caught offense to the fact that I said deadlifting is a waste of time, waste of my time, because I've never deadlifted before and why am I gonna start at my age deadlifting when obviously my back is my best body part out of all my body parts that I have? The exact comment was something along the lines of, I can't believe a bodybuilder like yourself is trashing deadlifting. I wasn't trashing it, I was just saying that I do not do any of the big three. I don't squat, I don't bench, and I don't fucking deadlift. I would bench if I didn't rip my fucking shoulder in the end of 2014, uh, where now I can't do anything flat bar anymore before I get surgery, and I'm not gonna get surgery because they told me that I would have to miss gym time. And a gym bro does not miss gym time. Now I know over the course of the year there's been articles written about me and videos shared of mine on some of the bigger social media platforms like Unilad or uh, Bro Science, Gym Memes, World Star, and a lot of times the headline of the video or the way that they title it is bodybuilder dot 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 dot. Bodybuilder goes crazy about Pokemon Go. Bodybuilder weighs in on the Trump Clinton debate. Bodybuilder diagnosed with imaginary lat syndrome. Well, I got a secret for you guys, and this is probably going to shock a lot of people, so I want you guys to be sitting down. I'll give you a few seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Are you guys ready? I am not a bodybuilder. I'm not, and I'm so sorry for anyone who thought I was a bodybuilder. I am a fucking gym bro. I'm not a bodybuilder, and I'll explain the differences in a minute. The differences in a minute. I never once have oiled up and stood on stage and compared my fucking glutes with another man, ever. I'm not a bodybuilder. I am a gym bro. So let's go through the differences between bodybuilder and gym bro. A bodybuilder will train 15 to 20 weeks of the year to look good for one day. They'll make sure that they're in the best fucking shape of their lives with 1% body fat and fucking whatever for five minutes being on stage. That's what they train for. Where a gym bro trains for the weekend. We train to look good in our extra medium express shirt so when we go to the bar, bitches wanna fuck. And when I say bitches, I don't mean educated females who go to the bar know how to control their alcohol, have a good time with their girlfriends, and don't wanna fuck anything with a dick. That's not what I mean when I say bitches. When I say bitches, I mean the bitches that fucking go to the bar looking to get gang banged by eight dudes. Those are bitches, okay? They're trying to get fucked. And the bigger your arms are, the wider your delts are, the bigger your chest is, the more chance that you're gonna be able to fuck these bitches. It's just how it goes. Bodybuilders will train their legs. Where gym bros, and I am the self-proclaimed king of gym bros, and I dare anyone to come take a shot at my title. Gym bros don't train legs. Why? Because it's pointless. We're not going to compete. We're gonna go to the bar in a pair of jeans, whether it's 40 degrees outside or 110 degrees outside, and a short sleeve shirt, so the bitches could see the upper body. That's all that fucking matters. It's an upper body business. You're in a crowded bar on a Friday or Saturday night. Ain't nobody seeing your fucking legs. No woman is gonna come up to you and say, hey, can I see your hamstrings? No. And this, this 
fucking myth that's going around about how uh, if you don't train your lower body, your upper body won't grow. Obviously, you guys don't follow me on Snapchat or, or watch my Instagram stories because you'll see that I don't train legs and I'm looking pretty fucking juicy right now. The, the, the experts in the game say, oh, well, all your testosterone and growth hormone that's in your body is in your lower body. And when you train your lower body, it disperses throughout the body and it helps your upper body grow. If you believe that shit, I got a fucking bridge I want to sell you. And I'm only going to charge you 15 PayPal buck, okay? Shout out to Lord Vader. I know what the next logical question is. Well, if gym bros don't train legs, how are you going to go to the beach this summer? How are you going to, you know, fucking go to a pool party? How are you going to do this? You know how I'm going to do it? I'm going to do it by going in a pair of fucking joggers and my jack tan juicy as fuck stringer on. And nobody's going to say shit. No one's going to say anything. They're going to be like, God damn, that motherfucker's pretty fucking juicy. That's what they're going to say. A bodybuilder is going to meal prep his meals for the entire week and he can't stray off that because one extra fucking carb is going to destroy his fucking abs. A gym bro will eat clean for the most part, but we'll say 85 to 90% Monday through Thursday. But Friday and Saturday and Sunday, it's fucking open season, bro. Cheese steak, cheese fries, buffalo wings, all your drunk munchies. That's another thing. Bodybuilders may stay away from alcohol because it may entice some bad habits, it may have too many calories, it may this. No, I'm trying to get fucked up every fucking weekend. You only live once, man. You only live once. So as a self-proclaimed king of gym bros, a lot of you are probably like, Robert, you know what? I wanna be a gym bro. How do I become a gym bro? You start off Monday through Friday with fasted cardio every morning. My fasted cardio routine includes two cups of black coffee, a shredded as fuck pill, and a focus as fuck pill, which you can get on steelsub615.com, discount code Robert10. Again, hashtag shameless plug. By the time you get to the gym and you're on a fucking treadmill, stepper, elliptical, whatever it is, you're going to be fucking wired. That's an unsafe amount of fucking caffeine. But if your body can handle it, fuck it. Gym bros eat our five to seven meals a day, and on the weekend, we don't give a fuck what we eat. We don't need to walk around with 6% body fat. Because the truth is, even bodybuilders, they look like that for about an hour. 20 weeks of training, 15, 16 weeks of training, they look like a fucking god for about an hour. How many bodybuilders have you seen on Instagram? Oh, I just did a show on Saturday, and here it is the next Saturday, I've already gained 30 pounds. You think they're still as diced and peeled and ripped and shredded fucking 30 pounds later? No. You're still going to, to train your fucking ass off. My split, everybody knows it. Chest Monday through Thursday, arms Friday and Saturday, back and shoulders on Sunday. Fuck abs, fuck legs. You're still going to take your supplements. You're going to take your pre-workout, your post-workout, your intra-workout, your fucking caffeine pills, your dick pills. You're going to eat your trembolone sandwiches. You're going to live the lifestyle of a bodybuilder but you're just not gonna take it to that next level where you're obsessive about things. So I hope this cleared some things up. Again, I apologize for everyone who thought that I was a fucking bodybuilder. I'm not, I'm a gym bro. There's, there, there are differences. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. See you next time.